Hey everyone, it's Mark here for Sync, and uh, today we've got a special video for you, uh, especially if you're a fan of Alvin and the Chipmunks, and who isn't, and the Chipettes. We are joined by Ross Bagdasarian, Hi. the uh, producer of Alvin and the Chipmunks the movie, and more recently, The Squeakquel, which we'll talk about, and uh, his partner in crime, Janice Carmen, who is uh, uh, the creator and of the Chipettes, as well yeah. as you provide the voices for them, and Except Theodore. Except in the movie, yeah. Okay, you, so you don't provide the voices... Not for the movie. We did a Saturday morning show okay. um, where we were all the voices, but for the movie we have other celebrity actors. Got it. Okay, great. So thanks for, for joining yeah, sure. us. Sure. So there's a lot of buzz about the film coming out uh, on uh, Blu-ray disc and DVD on March 30th. The squeak will. My kids came home from the theaters ranting about <laughs> the film. So perhaps, Ross, uh, we'll start with you if you could just tell us a sure. bit about the, the premise. Well, you know, the fun idea is that the, the first movie with the Chipmunks uh, two years before was about them finding a family with David Seville. Now, Dave is hurt at the very beginning after a huge concert in Paris. The boys are now going to go home under the tutelage of their crazy cousin, who is played by Zachary Levi, and uh, they're going to go to school. And they've gone from the heights of popularity to now the um, bottom rung of the, t you know, they've got... Bullies chasing yeah. after him. Life is cruel. Alvin is so desperate for popularity that he kind of forsakes his brothers and is going to be in this song contest that he's pretty sure who's going to beat singing Chipmunks. And of course, lockers, clothes, and the Chipettes, uh, Brittany and Jeanette and Eleanor are revealed. Awesome. So. That's the All beginning. Right. So my daughter was thrilled that there were chipettes this time around. So please uh, tell us about how you came up with the idea for the chipettes and maybe a bit about each of their personalities. Well, it was in the 80s and we were doing a lot of the chipmunk covering a lot of, you know, songs by male artists and I wanted to do female artists. So after putting the chipmunks in dresses as many times as I possibly could, I had this epiphany, wait a second, <laughs> girl chipmunks. So I created three counterparts, Brittany, who is Alvin's counterpart, very superficial, very, um, very involved with herself, but has a heart of gold at the end of the day, and Jeanette, who is Simon's counterpart, and Eleanor, who was in the movie played by Amy Poehler, Jeanette was played by Anna Ferris, and Brittany was played by Christina Applegate, and they did a great job. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay, so they have their counterparts. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, a lot of people who are uh, into the film are excited about the extras. There's always bonus features on both DVD and, and of course, yeah. Blu-ray, so could you tell us a bit about what we can expect? Yeah, there's actually some really fun things on this one. Um, one is, is called Monkey History, so it gives you a little bit of a uh, kind of a 52-year hurried up view of how the chipmunks were created, how it all first started That's with all my us, dad. That's so really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you're very I modestly really speaking. Love that segment. So objectively she thinks we might like that one, yeah. Okay. And, you know, the different animation styles yeah. and all the rest sure. of it. Then there's another thing called Anatomy of a Scene, and it's basically taking the chipettes singing, the sing, singing <laughs> single ladies, but how it goes from the characters are not there at all, right. then they have what, what we call stuffies, so it's a kind of a plush doll that stands in just so the actor can see, is that where the right. eye line is, is that where the eye line is, etc. And we take it away. And we take right. them away, <laughs> and then it, you, you see still the extra post-production animation stages where they're like a gray scale, then it's all this uh, almost geometric kind mm -hmm. of form, and then it's furred and unbelievable. So on one hand, I think it's super cool that you're educating the viewer as to the process, but at the same time, do you ever feel that you're taking away some of the magic, especially Absolutely. for the younger viewers, like you're, you're, you're showing behind the curtain a little too but, much? But you know what's odd? They still come to our house, they still want to meet the chipmunks. So even though it's revealed on the DVD, and, and uh, they still believe that they're they're there, and that to us is important, especially to me. I always felt uh, that I didn't want to reveal all this information, but it doesn't seem to bother the kids. They still want to know, you know. No, no, you know, and I also think that probably the kids at the age where they believe in the chipmunks probably are not going to go to a lot of the DVD Good extras point. and go, yeah, I wonder how they make it. Yeah. It, it, it yeah. really is more that. And it's also for, 
for some of the older kids that actually are interested in animation or how they do stuff. And their kids are so sophisticated now, you know, and they, they see how all of these films, whether it's Avatar or whether it's, the, you know, Fantastic Mr. Fox, how do they make these films? And, and so they're a lot, a uh, lot more aware of the technology than we were as kids. Yeah, so speaking of technology and as kids, it must be very interesting for you, Ross, especially that your father created the Chipmunks, was in the 50s. Yeah. Uh, and then after s the early 70s, you sort of took the reins. Right. To see the animation evolve and to see the, the IP, the brand, evolve, did you ever think that in 2010 that you'd be seeing, we'd be standing here at a music store, a media store, with Alvin all around <laughs> us. How weird is that? Yeah, I mean, no, no, a it, lifelong. Absolutely. It absolutely, wasn't supposed absolutely. to be. It was supposed to be a year. He enlisted me for a year. He said, right. oh, "Just do it for a year, just to honor my dad, to bring my dad back." Yeah. So. So here we are, 32 <laughs> years are. later. So I, my, my my schedule was a little bit messed up, but <laughs> but, but the idea of them being embraced around the world the way they have it, and and it, you know, is obviously thrilling. And equally thrilling is the fact that we've got such amazing animators doing this work so that when we were doing the TV shows we couldn't afford this caliber of work. You could never get the expressions and the attitudes, you know, and the shows would go overseas and be animated by people. When you said we wanted a sheepish expression, we'd have a sheep come back. <laughs> so the the nuance of what we get to do now is just phenomenal. Sure. So we're, we're shooting this for a blog that's primarily about technology, but very entertainment focused. So I wanted to ask you that, you know, when you go to YouTube, it's, if you type chipmunks, you're going to see every hit song has been chipmunked. Yeah. Uh, it's like turned into a verb, which is basically speeding up the voice and what have you. What, what, are, you, what are your thoughts on it? Is it well, neat or is it frustrating because well, it could dilute the brand? Well, it, no, it, it doesn't dilute. We, we don't worry about that. But if they're done with, with the intention that is goodwill and whatnot, and, and with good humor, we love it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're used, and I'm sure you've seen some of those, Raunchy. that are yeah. really yeah. kind of horrific, and right. that those we unfortunately stop as often as we can find. Sure. So, but for the most part, we take it as a compliment that mm -hmm. I think it's intended. We have, a we have a 23 year old daughter and a 20 year old son, so they're also watching, and they're, sure. they're very uh, cool kids, and they they feel the same way we do when it's done mm -hmm. tastefully and done well, or even if it's you know little self parky but right. funny and yeah. and, and, it's and a not good mean humor, not yeah. tasteless. Exactly, right. okay. yeah. and there's some very yeah. very creative yeah. applications. Yeah. So it's not just taking the, the DVD or the CD and speeding right. it up. There's no. some other people. Oh right. yeah. Okay. Speaking of which, how many times a day do you get asked like where you have a young kid who meets you and they want to hear the voice? What do, you, what do you tell them? I mean, you well, obviously, usually it's want done to in meet the studio. Brittany, who they think is yeah. in my purse. Oh, yeah, yeah, to pull, pull them out. Okay. Um, you know, you, don't, you never do it? You never, well, we can't well, because well, we need the tapes, yeah. you know, because yeah, yeah. it's slow it down okay. like that yeah. and then back to speed. Okay, so that's how it's we done. Can't, yeah, we can't mm -hmm. do it. I mean, it's, it's done, you know, it's funny, we so talk about all say? the technology. <laughs> um, what we usually say, Alvin's not here today. <laughs> <That's> a, <yeah. laughs> Brittany's yeah. taking a nap. Right, right. <laughs> That's good. Great. Uh, just finally, uh, Blu-ray is really starting to catch on. Naturally, we'll see the, the film in high definition. Uh, but are there any extras or anything else that you're aware of that's on the Blu-ray not found on the DVD? Yeah, there, there's actually quite a few things uh, from various sing-alongs for some of the younger kids to uh, some of the actors and actresses talking about the process of, of doing the voice mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, as I say, some of the history stuff. There, there's probably 10 or 12 different uh, special bonus features. Uh, and I'm fascinated by all 12, <laughs> of so. course. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Ross Bagdasarian Jr. and his lovely wife and, uh, and partner in crime with the Chipmunks brand. Janice Carmen, thank you very much. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah. Have fun here in Toronto. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> yeah, you've got yeah. the cold stuff on the <laughs>